changing tack again um what, one more topic i wanted to ask you about was um and a lot of people are getting excited about the possibilities of this based on, on some of the things i've seen from chat gpt is, is knowledge management um because that, that's a really big headache for, for many brands and i think you know a lot of brands feel that perhaps they they do too much research they're kind of doing new research to answer maybe questions that somewhere within their organization they already have the answers to but um it's about um actually being able to kind of track that down and kind of find that that insight from from what's gone before um but it seems like maybe large language models maybe have like a really valuable role they could play there so you know for example someone could feed in that tell me about the strengths and weaknesses of my brand versus you know whatever competitor it might be um in terms of customer perceptions and the ai i assume could kind of search across all of the qual um reports all of the quant reports that have been done and actually help find learnings that are going to answer that that question um and there are clearly there's there's quite a lot of knowledge platforms out there and some of them have been you know, doing really great work and growing really quickly but but do you see um those platforms being kind of supercharged by, you know, the improved capabilities of large language models um, and potentially new, you know, new platforms emerging in this whole area of knowledge management? The answer is yes. I think large language, the, the, the technology behind large language models can have a huge, huge impact on sort of supercharging the capacity for knowledge management, both on a personal and an organizational level. Uh, that said, it's not going to look exactly like using something like ChatGPT out of the box. Mm -hmm. So the reason for that is, well, because ChatGPT has been trained on a huge amount of data, um, but it still has huge, really big blind spots for domain specific context and sort of any, for, for whatever niche you might have in mind, it's probably not an expert within that niche. Um, and actually it might make up a lot of non-existent or irrelevant sources if you ask it to or if you ask it a question outside of its of its domain of expertise. So, but where, where I think this can be really, really cool. So for example, like you mentioned, uh, if, if you have like tons of qualitative reports, being able to take all of those together and, and sort of be, if you can ask questions about the contents of all those reports uh, in a holistic way. So um, I think that there, there are a lot of really interesting opportunities there. Um, and we're beginning to see sort of hybrid models that combine search with large language models. And people are already starting to use, uh, they're talking about using ChatGPT as a search engine. Mm -hmm. um, but for the reason I mentioned before, and for a number of other reasons, like, you know, the fact that it's it's trained up until data to a certain point, it doesn't know anything about what's happened in the last year. Um, so there's definite weaknesses there. And it's, it's also really bad at just like citing uh, where it's getting its information from. Um, but what we, we've already started to see uh, a lot of really cool things. So for example, combining what's called tensor search with large language models. And, and so this means that we can sort of get really, really smart vector or, uh, sort of semantic search where you can type in, you know, whatever your query is. Uh, and then at, at an initial round, we use tensor search in order to be able to go through all of the documents, uh, like for example, qualitative reports to find things that might be relevant. Um, and maybe even specific sections of those texts that might be relevant. Uh, and then we take that as the input and then feed that into the large language model. Uh, okay. And then the large language model is then able to parse all of that in a really intelligent way using its general sort of intelligence yeah. Yeah. And, and then spit out something that's, again, in natural language that you can easily understand. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that sounds really neat. Um, great. Thanks for that.